Zayd ibn Amr ibn Dufayl has the most interesting story and the Prophet ﷺ had a number of encounters with him. Zayd ibn Amr ibn Dufayl did not accept Christianity or Judaism because he was not impressed with either of them. And it is narrated that he told both the Jewish rabbis and the Christian priests that he met that this is not the religion of Ibrahim and you know it. This is not the religion of Ibrahim and you know it. So Zayd ibn Amr returned back to Mecca and he told the people, once he had now become mature and respected, O oh people of Quraysh, there is no one left upon the religion of Ibrahim in this whole city other than me. All of you have rejected the religion of Ibrahim. And Asma binti Abi Bakr, the older sister of Aisha, Asma is around 20 years older than Aisha, she's way older than Aisha. Asma binti Abi Bakr, Aisha, remember she was a very young girl. So Asma binti Abi Bakr says that, she remembers as a young child seeing Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl rebuking the Quraysh for worshipping idols, for giving meat to the idols, for trying to bury their daughters alive. And in fact, and subhanAllah, how beautiful is this? When any Qurashi wanted to kill his daughter, Zayd would say, give her over to me, I will take care of her and I will bring her up. She will become my daughter. So he would adopt all of the daughters that the Quraysh wanted to kill. And this shows us his generosity and his kind heart. And he forbade any daughter to be killed and said, give them to me and I will raise them in my household. And he refused to participate in any of their idolatry. It is authentically mentioned that the Prophet ﷺ met Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl when he was a young man, when the Prophet was a young man, before the prophecy began. And he asked him, what is Masha'nuk? What is the matter between you and your people? Why are is there uh, why is there this animosity? So Subhanallah, this shows us the process. And even as a young man, he wants to study. He wants to know his inquisitive mind. Probably as a teenager, we don't have an age here. We can imagine maybe 17, 18. The Prophet is asking Zayd as this young child, what is the matter? What do you believe? What do they believe? And so uh, Zayd ibn Amr would explain to him that I cannot worship idols. I cannot do what these people are doing. And uh, the Prophet found a kindred spirit because as we know, the Prophet himself never worshipped an idol. He never bowed his head in front of an idol. He never sacrificed meat to an idol. All of these things he himself did not do. So, Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, uh, as we said, he continued upon this religion and he died five years before the Prophet began preaching Tawheed. Five years. His son, Sa'id ibn Zayd is one of the companions that unfortunately we don't, we as Muslims don't know much about even though we should because Sa'id ibn Zayd is one of the ten who were promised Jannah. This is one of the big names but unfortunately we don't know much about him, meaning we, meaning this society, not that we don't know from the books. Sa'id ibn Zayd was one of the ten who are Ashara Mubashara, this is his son. So one day he said, O Messenger of Allah, you know my father, you remember my father. And you remember what he was upon. What will be his fate in the Akhirah? You can tell him, he's loving, he's, he wants to know, Ya Rasulullah, what's going to be the fate of my father in the Akhirah? So the Prophet ﷺ said, he will be resurrected on the day of judgment, his own ummah. He is a one-man ummah, without any prophet. Because he was such a pious person. And when he went back from Isra wal Mi'raj, you know the famous journey, we're going to talk about that. He said to Sa'id ibn Zayd, I, I entered Jannah and I saw your father, Allah had blessed him with not one but two gardens. So this shows us that even before the coming of Islam, people managed to enter Jannah because they rejected idolatry. Because their fitrah, their innate nature told them that something is wrong. So Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl is a one-man ummah. This is a trivia question. Which ummah is there without any prophet? And we say the ummah of Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, okay? This is an ummah which is a one-man ummah without any prophet.